For anyone who is familiar with Hermes, you might be a bit like, hmm, that's an interesting size box. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. It's a Hermes bag unboxing, obviously by the title. Um, before I dive into the exciting reveal and unboxing, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button below if you aren't already subscribed to my channel and also ring the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. I upload twice a week on a Wednesday and a weekend, all about luxury and fashion and all that jazz. So yeah, I'm hoping I can make this video kind of short and sweet, but I do want to kind of touch on some stuff um, about this Hermes bag. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up um, and show you guys, and then we will talk all about where I got it from, how much I paid, and why I chose this beautiful Hermes bag. We have... A little strap but we're not going to show you that yet and then we have the bag inside and there is another little dust bag okay so I feel like this is going to be a bit of a dead dead on giveaway as to what is inside yes I picked up a Hermes Kelly Dance. Yep, this is the Hermes Kelly Dance 2. That is why there is so many additional dust bags. So I have um, a child here and a child there as usual. So I'm just going to take out all these items so I can show you what is in each of these dust bags. Uh, so the strap here, chuck that over there, and the base. And the color, oh my god, the most important thing and pretty much the biggest reason that I ended up picking up this item was because of the color. It is in Vert Cricut. I just realized that my camera was up quite high, so I've just moved it down a little bit. So I have been raving that I love the color Vert Cricut from Spring Summer 2020 and I also love the color Brew, Blue Broom. Gosh. I picked up this bag because the Kelly Dance, when I was doing a ton of research on the Kelly Dance, so I had already been thinking about getting the Kelly Dance bag. I even asked for one at my boutique, but uh, the Kelly Dance is not easy to get. I've actually been reading around that the Kelly Dance is pretty much almost as hard to get as like asking for a Birkin or a Kelly or a Constance sort of thing. So they aren't making a ton of them. But yeah, when I was doing my research on the Kelly Dance, um, I seen that there is so many ways that you can actually use this bag. It is insane, like the amount of ways you can use it. I think there is like over seven ways that you can use this bag. And when I was looking at like all the pictures on Instagram and stuff like that of people using their Kelly Dance, they seem to be using it in such a carefree way. Like it was so casual and effortless and like it just... The whole vibe to me with the Kelly Dance and the way that everyone seems to be using this is it's a very casual sort of bag. And I obviously have two children, so to me, a bag being casual and easy and effortless to use is so, so, so important. And that is why even some of like, well, the most elusive Hermes bags that I have, the Birkin, the Kelly and the Constance, they don't get as much use as say my Sen Rev bags because my Sen Rev bags are very carefree. And even now with the addition of the Belide 27 to my collection, I have been using that so much. Um, I So I've just kind of realized that it's like, hang on, like, of course I want, like, I do want to get a Birkin or a Kelly again down the road. I do, and I'd love for it to come from the store. Um, I even said that I wanted to get a horseshoe stamp Kelly bag or a Birkin bag. Like, I'll buy it myself from the resale market. But I couldn't find um, the exact kind of specs and colouring that I wanted. And I didn't want to just buy a horseshoe stamp bag for the sake of it. I wanted everything to sort of line up. But um, going back to my whole reasoning behind buying this was... Obviously, I wanted the Vert Cricut color, but the Kelly Dance just seems like it's my kind of bag. It seems like the kind of bag that I could really get a heck of a lot of use out of with my lifestyle. And that is something that I'm realizing that, you know, when it comes to Hermes and being an, an avid lover of Hermes, it isn't always just about the Burke and Kelly Constance. It isn't always just about that. And I feel like for someone who really appreciates the brand, and if you really do love and appreciate Hermes, you would appreciate that there have, they have so many other handbags to offer that um, are fantastic. Beautiful craftsmanship, like there's a bag for absolutely everyone, everyone when it comes to Hermes. So um, like, you know, going on that same sort of line of what I'm kind of sort of trying to explain is that there are even other bags that I want from Hermes, like the Mini Veru with the new canvas strap. I have been looking at that bag. so. 
I'm starting to, my eyes are, like, even though I've always loved Hermes, my eyes are just opening up more and more to the other bags that they have. And even though I've always appreciated all the bags that they, ha that they have, I feel like, personally, I've always sort of felt like there is so much sort of, um... Focus on the Burke and Kelly and Constance, especially on social media. Like, there are so many people that just unbox the Burke and Kelly and Constance, and you fall into the hype going, you know, yeah, I need to have, you know, I need to have a Burke and Kelly and Constance. I need to be buying only the elusive bags. They're the investment bags from Hermes. You kind of just fall into that hype when you see, like, all these unboxings on social media, and, you know, these people, like, with their Burke and Kelly bag, that sort of thing. And I know I'm one of them. I have a Burke and a Kelly bag and a Constance. I know I'm one of them. But, like I said, going back to the fact that as someone who absolutely loves the brand, they really do have so many bags to offer, and it shouldn't only always be about the Birkin Kelly or Constance. If you are looking to get an Hermes bag, you know, yes, the Birkin the Kelly, um, they are great. They are great investments. They are fantastic bags. I highly recommend them. But price point wise, um, and also the spending required at the boutique to score the bags, like, yeah, just. Consider other options as well. Okay, look, enough said about that. I didn't want to go too much on a tangent about it because I do have some other things I sort of want to talk about and I just wanted to sort of show you the bag as well. All right, so this is in the color Vert Cricket. The color is Evercolor. I already have an Evercolor handbag in my collection, the Constance 24. Um, now, this bag, I didn't buy it from the boutique because, like I said, I had been asking my store and it just, you know... Yeah, I mean, I've also been asking my store for a Birkin or a Kelly, but it's just not happening right now, or it hasn't happened yet in two years almost. So I didn't want to hold my breath and wait for a Kelly dance, and I also didn't want to miss out on getting this color, because um, when it comes to Hermes colors, usually I do not buy Hermes colors when they first release, buying them from the resale market, because they generally are at a premium. Yes, this was at a premium. However, there are particular colors from Hermes that stay desirable and no matter what, even pre-loved, they hold their value. For example, Rose Sakura is one of them. Um, Bubblegum Pink, Rose Confetti especially as well. These are the kind of colors that tend to hold their value. And if you look at the reoccurring theme here, they are pastel colors. Vert Cricket and Blue Broom as well are considered pastel colors. So I figured based on what I know when it comes to the resale market, that there was a risk involved waiting for a pre-loved uh, Vert Cricket bag in the Kelly Dance to come up later. There was a risk involved that if it does come up later, the price could be the same as what I pay now and it would be pre-loved. Um, or there's a chance that it'll just never come back again and I won't be able to snap one up in the Kelly Dance in the Vert Cricket color. Uh, also, because of the pandemic as well, Hermes is not producing as much bags as they usually do. So I'm noticing that when it comes to these spring summer 2020 colors, there is not that many out there in Vert Cricket and Blue Broom. Compared to, um, you know, previous seasons, you would just see a flood of availability in the resale market because of people that have scored their bags, you know, in France and that sort of thing. So I'm noticing that that's sort of happened as a result of the pandemic. And I didn't want to take the risk where if I didn't get this bag, um, like I said, I could be, you know, paying an even higher premium later on down the road. Even right now, the Vert Cricket bag in a Kelly 25, which seems to be like what they're making it in, like a Kelly 25, Kelly 28, is at a crazy premium. Like I have seen them for over $27,000 Australian. Um, I think the cheapest I have seen is one in a Kelly 28 in Evercolor leather in Return, and that was $24,000 Australian. So yeah, they are extremely pricey. That is a lot, a lot over retail. Like that uh, Kelly 28, $24,000 Australian dollars is um, like $8,000 over retail. Yeah, it's about almost $8,000 over retail. So yeah, that, that's a lot. Yes. Now back to this bag. I know that I kind of went on a bit of a tangent then, but I just wanted to sort of explain the whole thing when it comes to colors, because I have said before in my video, when it comes to seasonal colors, you should wait until you start to see them come up in the pre-love market. Then they come out for less or even later on new bags in the, in the color as they continue to be produced. They usually go down a little bit in price, but there are some particular colors that are the exception to that rule of thumb. And it's definitely pastel colors. So, I just wanted to snap this up while there was an, a great opportunity to get it because 
the uh, Singaporean dollar is the same as the Australian dollar right now. And so yes, I did get this from a reseller in Singapore. This is actually from OBSG, so it's O.B.S.G. And he is someone that I actually bought from before. His name is Stan. I bought um, some Jungle Love Twillies from him before. So I have dealt with him before. He's a fantastic seller. He is great, so friendly, so communicative, very patient. I was even like contemplating with a Constance 18 at one point, but it ended up selling too quickly. So I missed out on that, but I'm still very happy that I ended up with the Kelly Dance anyway. But yeah, he was patient with me even when I was undecided about a particular bag, um, when it came to, you know, um, asking questions about it. He was just fantastic. He shipped the bag to me really, really quickly as well because with some of these Singaporean resellers, they don't always have the inventory right then and there ready with them. They generally like, they'll get people consigning items with them and the person will bring it into the store. They will take photos of it and sometimes it'll stay at the store, but then a lot of other times it may not because that person may also consign with some other Singaporean resellers. And that's why you might see the same bag being advertised by like a few um, Singaporean consignment stores and that's because that's generally how it works in Singapore okay because there is quite a lot of competition when it comes to um, you know consignment and the resale market of Hermes but yeah he was fantastic so I cannot recommend him enough if you are looking for an Hermes bag in the resale market I definitely recommend checking him out he has some great bags they're mostly new so he mostly does deal in new bags but he does have pre-loved ones as well so I will leave his details on the screen and also in the description bar down below um, I did pay the normal price for it what it was advertised for it was advertised for uh, 15,600 Singaporean dollars so that is what I paid so it ended up being um, you know after like fees like PayPal that sort of thing because he does accept um, uh, transfer wise which I do recommend is better so that way you're not having to pay on fees but for me I tend to like to pay on PayPal just as friends and family. If you are happy to pay with transfer wise or bank transfer you do end up paying less so I ended up paying um, just or $16,000 Australian, it worked out to be, just because the AUD is so strong against the Singaporean dollar right now. So even with the fees, it didn't end up being all too bad. Um, now, the other item that, did I show you that? Oh yeah, the base that actually comes with the Kelly Dance. So you have to put this on the inside of the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys. It is obviously in gold hardware. And um, I, there's someone I follow on Instagram called Petite Bunny. She's a very friendly lady. She also has a Kelly Dance in gold. I'm not sure if she watches my videos, but if she does, hello. Um, she has a Kelly Dance, a Kelly Dance too in gold, and she uses it a lot, like heaps. And she has other like Hermes bags. I think she's like she's got a Birkin, and I think she's got a Kelly as well. But she tends to favor using her Kelly Dance, her Kelly Dance, quite a lot. So. That's also what sold me on it, is that these people that I've seen that own the Kelly Dance, they have other handbags from Hermes, like the elusive ones, but I just seem to keep seeing them using the Kelly Dance, like over and over again. So it made me think, well, if these people are gravitating more towards this bag, this definitely seems like the sort of bag I should be adding to my collection because I'm all about, you know, um, ease of use, versatility, multiple ways of wearing a handbag. Again, that's why I always sing my praises about Sen Rev because the handbags can be used in a multitude of ways. Um, side note, I do have a coupon code with Sen Rev just because I'm talking about them. I might as well tell you. The details will be in the description bar down below. But yeah, put the um, base in the bottom of the bag. So it just does give like the bag some shape somewhat kind of this base though like <laughs> like this is a bit sad looking isn't it so it's not like a super duper firm piece of leather that is for sure uh, so it doesn't make your bag into like a firm kelly cellier by any means but it does have the shape of the kelly cellier because the stitches are on the outside for the kelly dance and um I'm not going to go into detail about all the ways that you can actually wear this bag. We will save that for a review video. Uh, I also did get a receipt as well with my purchase, which was good. So this actually came from Las Vegas. Yeah, this bag came from the US, from Las Vegas. So I think that goes to show that right now during the pandemic, if you go into these tourist locations in the US, and because we can't travel to France or anything, not that I do, but because like if you're based in the US, just go to those tourist locations and try your luck. You just never know. If you can, of course, and being responsible, don't like travel like so many states across and you know, like uh, risk putting your, your health at risk or anything like that. I'm just saying if you are close by, um, 
it doesn't hurt to give it a go and try at the tourist locations because they aren't getting obviously tourists coming in because of uh, lockdowns, uh, border closures and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, I think that's probably pretty much all I can really say. The strap does attach at the back and there is a multitude of ways that you can wear it. I know that you can wear it um, double strapped on your shoulder, crossbody, backpack, belt bag, which is a pretty much what the Kelly dance is. It is a belt bag. Um, so yeah, definitely a lot of ways that you can wear it, but we are going to save that for a review video down the line. I don't think that there's anything else that I really have to say. I know I wanted to address the whole reasoning behind why I chose this bag. And I think that I kind of have like that it's, you know, it seems like it's going to be the sort of bag that's going to be perfect for my collection, more carefree, more versatile, so many ways that you can use it. Um, also, I didn't want to miss out on the colour Vert Cricket because it's a pastel green and if it's going to be anything like Rose Sakura, the premium in the resale market will stay the same. Also, the retail price on this is just under $11,000 Australian. I think it's like $10,650 Australian to be exact. So I did pay quite a big premium and I usually do not pay that kind of premium on um, brand new bags, especially for one that isn't a Birkin or a Kelly. I tend to not do that. So I have kind of broken my rule. However, I did think to myself, if Hermes does do a 15% price increase next year, this bag will end up going up about $2,500, which means that it'll be $13,100. Like this bag could be $13,100 next year in January. That's when Australian Australia has its price increase. So even though I paid the 16, like the difference isn't so bad if there is going to be a massive price increase next year anyway. But yeah, I am very happy with it. I'm going to look forward to using this bag. This definitely seems like it's going to be my kind of bag for my kind of collection. And stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram so you can see me styling it and using it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.